Good morning my respected teacher and my dear friends. I am Aratrika Das, roll number 13. Today, the girls from Blue Batch House will be showing you short and fun experiments. Let's see. Now today, I am going to show you a leak proof experiment that will include a plastic Ziploc bag that is filled with water, a bowl and some pencils that are very sharp and to the point. Now first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plastic ziplock that bag that is filled with water. I'm going to stab like that and then I'm going to turn and turn and turn and like this I'm going to swirl and get it in. I'm going to try one more. So as you can see the water is not coming out. And the reason is that plastic Ziploc bags are made from polymer. And polymer are very stretchable. So when I stab a pencil through the plastic Ziploc bag, the polymer, because it is stretchable, makes a seal. And that prevents the water from coming out. Let's try one more. See, the water is not coming out. Thank you. I am the story of class 5B. Today I will show an experiment on air. Human beings need oxygen to survive. But did you know a flame also needs oxygen to stay ignited? So I will do an experiment on this only. First I will take a candle and then a glass. And then I will put the glass over the burning candle. Ebbing away. Now it's completely extinguished. This happens because the burning candle is covered with a glass. The candle takes away the oxygen necessary for allowing the air enclosing in the glass. Thank you. Many my respected teachers and my dear friends. My name is Samprita Ghosh and I am from Blue Batch. Today I am going to show how to blow a balloon with the help of vinegar and baking soda. First we will take an empty bottle. Then we will add vinegar in it. Now I will put baking soda in the balloon. Now I will put the balloon on the top of this bottle. Hope you like my experiment. Good morning my respective teachers and dear friends. I am Tanisha Charait. My roll number is 22 and I am from the Blue House. Today I am going to experiment a solar cooker. So I have a glass bowl right here and I have put some pieces of chocolate in it. And I am now going to keep it here. As you can see the sun is there. It is reflecting the chocolates. So now I'm gonna come after one an hour and let's see what happens to the chocolate. It has been one and an hour. Now let's see. Oh my god, the chocolate melted. As you can see, the chocolate melted. So this is just a diagram and this is a home experiment. But in the real solar cookers, there are a lot of things to do. So I hope you liked my experiment. Thank you. My name is Prakti Majumda. I am from Blue House. Today I will do volcanic eruption. So first we will add Eno. I have poured the Eno. Now I will add some water.
it has erupted and now uh, we can experience how does the volcano erupt thank you good morning to my respected teachers and my dear friends i'm damantina from blue house and class 5p today i'm going to show experiment named tornado in a bottle and some some few pieces of thermocol and now i'm going to pour paper You can glue. You can use glitter also. It will work the best. And you add, cut it, cut the paper into small pieces, and then pour it. After pouring a lot of paper, throw it away. And shake it twice. I can see it's looking pretty dirty. There's gray colors there and it's so many papers. After shaking and mixing the papers, just shake it. Eight minutes as you can. And as you can see, it's looking as if a tornado is going on in a bottle. Thank you. Hello my dear friends and my respected teachers. I am Kritika Jana from Blue House. Today I am going to show a science experiment on capillary action. As you can see down below, there are four glasses and three of them are filled with colored water and one of them is empty. And I have folded three paper towels and soaked them in the water. And you can see the colored water is moving up. This is because the process in which a liquid moves up something solid like a tube or into a material which has a lot of small pores in it. This happens in three forces called cohesion, adhesion and surface tension work together. And all this together makes capillary action. Thank you. Good morning my respected teacher and my dear friends. I am Swastika Gayan from class 5 B roll number 16 and today I will do the floating egg experiment. So here I have two glasses of water of the same amount. Here I have some salt and I also have two eggs. So we will take the first glass of water and an egg to see whether it sinks or whether it floats. So you can see the egg sinks in the water. Do you wonder why? Because the water has no density or mass. That's why. So now we will take the second glass of water and another and we will take some salt and we will stir it. We will take two spoonful of salt in here. We will stir it nicely. As you can see the salt dissolved in the water. We will take one egg and we will see whether it sinks or whether it floats. So as you can see it floats in the water. Do you wonder why? Because after we mix the salt in the water the density and the mass increased. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Udita from class 5B. Today I am going to perform a science experiment of writing a secret letter. Now I have an earbud dipped into lime juice. Now I am going to write something that you don't know. Do you see it? No. Now I have a lighted candle and I will hold the paper over it. Now, did you see what I've written? Sherlock Holmes used this technique to decipher a letter. Thank you.